dear students today we are going to talk about plant metabolism living organisms are built up of molecules and while organisms remain alive they are centers of intense and complex chemical activity their growth development movement and uh, reproductive activities are the outcome of these highly complex and organized chemical changes the sum total of these chemical reactions of living organisms comprises their metabolism so metabolism consists of closely coordinated series of enzyme mediated chemical reactions plant metabolism is a complex of chemical and their physical processes that transform substances into energy for the plant metabolism involves a series of chemical reactions including photosynthesis respiration photorespiration uh, and the synthesis and degradation of organic compounds right metabolism is a balancing act involving two kinds of activities catabolism and anabolism catabolism is a degradative process concerned with the breakdown of the complex molecules right complex molecules to simple one with a concomitant release of energy anabolism the biosynthetic reactions involving the formation, uh, formation of complex molecules from simple precursors catabolism occurs in three stages first is just look at this diagram first is conversion of complex molecules into their building blocks means into simple molecules second stage formation of simple intermediates right and finally oxidation of intermediate compounds right first stage conversion of complex molecule into their building blocks for example polysaccharides are broken down to monosaccharides lipids to free fatty acids and glycerol and proteins to amino acids in second stage these building blocks that are produced in stage first are degraded to simple intermediates for example pyruvate succinate acetyl coenzyme right these intermediates are not readily available uh, means identifiable uh, as uh, carbohydrates lipids or proteins right then these intermediates for example here acetyl coenzyme a when enters a pathway here um, for example in citric acid cycle or cap cycle right they completely oxidized to uh, carbon dioxide and also liberating nadh and fadh2 right these finally get oxidized to release large quantity of energy in the form of atp when enters etc means electron transport chain here krebs cycle or citric acid cycle is a common metabolic pathway involved in final oxidation of all energy rich molecules right means uh, this pathway except the carbon compounds right uh, like uh, pyruvate succinate acetyl coenzyme a derived from carbohydrates lipids and proteins right anabolism also occurs in three stages stage 1 production of precursors such as amino acids monosaccharides and nucleotides stage second use of energy from atp to turn the precursors into reactive form and in stage third assembly of these activated precursors into complex molecules such as proteins polysaccharides lipids and nucleic acids right primary metabolism can be subdivided into primary or central metabolism and secondary or specialized metabolism primary metabolism encompasses reactions and pathways absolutely vital for survival of the organism product of primary metabolism is called primary metabolites for example carbohydrates amino acids fatty acids nucleotides and polymers 
derived from them such as polysaccharides proteins lipids dna rna primary metabolites derived from primary pathways means glycolysis tca cycle or shikimit pathway they often serve as precursors for the synthesis of secondary metabolites secondary metabolism fulfills a multitude of important functions for growth and development including the interactions of the uh, plant with environment product of secondary metabolism is called secondary metabolites for example steroids essential oils phenolics alkaloids pigments and uh, antibiotics this classification is based on their role and requirement as primary or secondary metabolites now just look at this figure showing primary metabolism primary metabolites and secondary metabolites right here primary metabolism photosynthesis is essential to all life on earth primary metabolism starts with photosynthesis and photosynthesis you know is essential to all life on earth right as it is the only biological process that can capture energy that uh, originates from sunlight and convert it into chemical compounds like glucose uh, that every organism uses to power its daily functions right so photosynthesis involved two type of reactions light reactions and dark reactions and product of light reactions is atp and nadh right and of dark reactions sugars so for example here glucose glucose act as starting material for the synthesis of these primary metabolites for example oligosaccharides polysaccharides nucleic acid rna and dna right then glucose is also the starting material of important primary pathway glycolysis three type of primary pathways are there glycolysis phosphate oh sorry pantose phosphate pathway and shikimate and uh, aromatic pathways right then secondary pathways are also are of three types hydrolyzable tannin synthesis then free derived volatile synthesis and phenyl uh, propenoid pathways right so through glycolysis glucose is converted into uh, pyruvate means uh, means glycolysis is the process in which glucose is broken down to produce energy right and uh, to form pyruvate through phosphonoil pyruvate so here this phosphonoil pyruvate when react with the erythrose for phos uh, phosphate shikimate is produced and you know shikimate is very important precursor for large number of scanty metabolites right here uh, scanty metabolites from shikimate through shikimate pathway like cinnamic acid derivatives aromatic compounds lignins etc phosphonoil pyruvate uh, means uh, the ultimate end product of glycolysis is pyruvate so this then converted to pyruvate and pyruvate act as a starting material for the synthesis of these primary metabolites aromatic uh, amino acids or aliphatic amino acids right and then from these compounds peptides or proteins are formed and these primary metabolites act as precursors for the formation of these secondary metabolites alkaloids like penicillins right uh, cephalosporins cyclic peptides this pyruvate when converted into acetyl coenzyme a this enters to krebs cycle right and uh, uh, these tetrapyroles means primary metabolites are formed similarly other aromatic amino acids or aromatic amino acids are formed 
from acetyl coenzyme A, another compound, melonyl coenzyme A, is formed. And this compound acts as starting material for the formation of these primary metabolites like saturated fatty acids, unsaturated fatty acids, and lipids. And uh, these primary metabolites mean saturated fatty acids uh, or unsaturated fatty acids or lipids. They act as precursors for the formation of these secondary metabolites like prostaglandins, polyacetylene, aromatic compounds, right? This acetyl coenzyme A also can convert it into mevalonate. And mevalonate act as important precursor for the synthesis of uh, these secondary metabolites like terpenoids, steroids, carotenoids. If you remember, we have already discussed mevalonate pathway and non-mevalonate pathway for the uh, synthesis of uh, terpenoids, right? This acetyl coenzyme A may directly get converted into mevalonate or first into acetoacetyl coenzyme A. Then this compound uh, converted to mevalonate and then this mevalonate acts as precursor for the synthesis of secondary, these secondary metabolites. So, this is how secondary metabolites are formed from primary metabolites, right? So, this uh, figure also shows how central or primary metabolism form a base for the formation of secondary metabolites or specialized metabolites, right? Because secondary metabolites are produced through the modification of primary metabolites. They are produced, these secondary metabolites are produced near stationary phase of growth. Secondary metabolites do not play a role in growth and development uh, or reproduction, as I already told you. However, they play a role in ecological development, uh, sorry, ecological functions like defense mechanisms, serve as antibiotics uh, and uh, produce vitamins, right? So, this is all about primary metabolism. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.